after you upon my knee T for two and two for T me for you Hi everyone, Xavier to for vape um, Today we'll come back on the Magneto 2 from Smoketech we reviewed um, a week ago or so um, with a further improvements um, that is I talked in the review about a floating pin that would have been a nice uh, improvement uh, on this mod and uh, here I will present to you uh, a way to achieve that so um, what I take as a floating pin is this what is it? Uh, I start with an M5 brass screw like this one it's a bit too long but we'll cut it in the end um, it's a bit too thick as well so to make it thinner I will mount it on this device, this tool, and use a file and like so, you will have to remove about half a millimeter um, of uh, brass in the threads here, if you have a solid unthreaded um, equivalent, it's fine to incorporate better yet um, after that, we'll have to uh, reduce the thickness of the head of the screw um, either using the file, the, the machine um, to do so. What I did is I used a grinder to reduce the thickness until I end up with something around one millimeter more or less and I finish it with a bit of sandpaper as I showed uh, in the review in small circles until it's almost flat here here I removed um, the part with the spring, the two conductors and uh, I'm preparing to put it inside, well, it's floating too much here so I use all uh, the parts I had at home and it's um, these o-rings are a bit too large uh, it, it will come here at the bottom I have quite a thickness here uh, between the darin and before touching the metal of the top cap around here in the center <clears throat> but as a safety measure I always prefer to have this o-ring as a security um, to avoid any short I will put on this another o-ring to keep this one in place this o-ring is uh, 3 mm inside and 1 mm thick like this this one is um, I guess 5 mm inside and 1.5 mm thick Uh, in an ideal world, I would have uh, I would have needed uh, something around three millimeter inside diameter and one dot five millimeter thickness. Um, that would have been perfect and would have been enough to avoid any wobble here. Um, anyway, that's what I have at hand, so the large one comes here, the small one here, like so, and I will put it just above the other one 
at the bottom to yeah like so this way the large one too large one uh, won't move anymore now um, I have to devise a way uh, of preventing this to fall off the top cap so I use another o-ring with three in three millimeter inside diameter and one millimeter outside uh, thickness sorry it's made a uh, five millimeter outside um, diameter use these tweezers to put the o-ring around the floating pin inside the 510 connector like more or less like so oh, no not there yet like so that's the first part and I will use another pair of tweezers to finish the job like so and like so to end up with this 5 cent connector <coughs> with an, an o-ring keeping it from falling off now I will put an atomizer on this still my Nova 22 I don't like it that much you see it comes a bit lower because the atomizer pushed the pin below uh, and we'll screw it on the tube yeah very tight not too tight but tight enough and it goes like this and it's pretty amazing how better it goes now with this I have uh, the dated ball drop for this mod so it's only a slight modification and quite an improvement actually because I've now with a battery at 4.15 volts I have a ball drop of 0.2 volts quite an improvement and it's still a good value, good added value to this quite inexpensive mount. So, I thank you for watching and see you in the next review. Bye bye.